Hello, and welcome back to the Human Subjects Research Training Series, sponsored by the Office of Research at the University of Texas at Dallas. Informed consent is a basic ethical obligation for researchers conducting human subjects research. Information given to potential participants has to be in an understandable format that allows individuals to make an informed and voluntary decision about whether or not they want to participate. You might be wondering, what do I need to do as an investigator to fulfill this requirement? The first step is drafting the consent form. The consent form needs to include language that is clear and easy to understand, meaning that 6th to 8th grade reading level is recommended. There cannot be any scientific jargon nor any abbreviations, and it outlines the entire study step by step, describes what the participant will see, hear, feel, and otherwise experience, and includes the type of questions they will be asked, activities they will engage in, etc. How do I obtain informed consent? Read the approved consent form to the participant and discuss the study with them. Ask open-ended questions. Develop a conversation and gauge their understanding of the study. What about expedited review and full board studies? Both the investigator and the participant should sign and date the consent form. Participants receive a signed copy. Investigators keep the original. The most recently approved version containing the IRB approval stamp must be used. Investigators should not handwrite anything other than their signatures on the forms, including comments, feedback, results of participation, participant codes, and contact information. Signed consent forms should be stored separate from other study documents, including collected data, participant contact information, payment receipts, keys to participant codes. If your study involves vulnerable participants or collects sensitive information, past illegal activity, experiences of abuse, etc., you can request a waiver of documentation of consent. All such requests must be approved by the IRB. Please contact the IRB office for additional information. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.